Cowboy! Hey, down here in the basement of the new house. So, staring at the furnace. Um, it's a gas furnace. I don't have a lot of experience with them, but I'm having a little trouble with it. So it's getting colder outside, and I kicked on the thermostat the other day, and nothing. This thing would not kick on. So, I started checking some different things on it. Uh, battery looked good on the thermostat itself. And then I followed the wires down to this little block here. And uh, there's four wires here that come from the thermostat upstairs. And I checked to make sure there wasn't any, um, you know, anything shorted out. Everything looked okay. There's two other wires that run out to the outside AC unit. Those looked okay. Made sure those weren't shorted out. This fuse was good. I put the meter on that fuse. No issues there. So then I figured, well, I better make sure this thing's getting power from the breaker box. Um, check the breaker. 120 volts at the breaker, so it was good. Then I worked my way to this point. Um, this little block here had 120 volts, so I knew I was getting power to the unit. And then I was looking around on it and I saw, oh, as I you know took these door panels off, um, I've got this little switch here um, to the, it, it, the door that covers this blower motor. Um, close to the switch. So when the switch is out, nothing switches in. I got 120 volts through this system. So I knew the switch was working. And then I tried to do my best deciphering this diagram. And I don't know a lot about electricity, so this thing's pretty complex. But I just started working my way through it, and I noticed there's a 24 volt system through most of it. So I started checking voltage just trying to find 24 volts um, through this mess. And I was getting nothing, zero volts through a lot of it, or through all of it, basically. So then I realized, oh, hey, this guy right here, that's a transformer. So it's converting the 120 volts to 24 volts. And I started looking around down here for the transformer, and I noticed this big old thing right here, that's the one. So this side, there in the back, and this terminal up close, check those, 100, uh, 120 volts at that point, and then over here, terminal in the back, and then this one in the front, nothing. Had no voltage through the transformer. So I realized, okay, that guy's bad. So I pulled it out and took a look at it and here's the one that I pulled out actually and you can see one side of it is toast all scorched burnt melted plastic so definitely going up to that terminal just melty plastic and a mess so ordered transformer online I think it was 25, 30 bucks or something. And uh, got the new one in here now. So I kicked the system back on, uh, kicked the thermostat on, and then started checking voltage through the transformer, 124, uh, 120 volts on one side and then 24 volts on the other side, as it should be. So we're back in business. It's running, it's working. So I thought I should share that with you. Um, a cheap fix for something that could have been you know, expensive if I were to call somebody else. It just took a little time trying to decipher this diagram and work my way through this mess of wires. Anyway, I thought it was cool. I'll see ya.